everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha and if this is your first time stopping by, please subscribe. So I'm in a conference room at work right now, but I decided I should start my prep for a Europe trip. So I'm so excited. I leave to Europe in a week or like six days from today. And when I tell you, I cannot wait. Like the places that I'm about to hit up, we're going to so many places. We're going to London, Paris, Italy, like different places in Italy. This is gonna be a huge trip, so this a lot of prep to do and i'm also trying to pack as light as i can because we're going to so many different places i'm really trying my best to only take a hand luggage and a like personal carry-on which i've never done before like i'm the biggest overpacker ever so yeah this trip there's just been a lot of planning like i need to even show you the google slides doc we have like we have a whole handbook for how this is gonna go i have a whole outfit slide we have everything we're gonna do for the different days like this is a full like we planned this to the T. So for the next few days, I'm just gonna be getting myself ready for this trip. So today I really wanna go to Target since I'm downtown today to get all of my travel size things. So yeah, this is gonna be like a lot going on. For the next few days, I'm just gonna be getting my hair done, wax, nails. I also need to just do like last minute, pick up last minute things. Yeah, it's gonna be a busy vlog. So hopefully you enjoy this. And Outfit of the day. So right now I'm in Harlem to get my hair braided. It's across the street over there, but I have not vlogged in a couple of days because I was working, but I'm really trying to use this weekend to get everything done. So I'm getting my hair braided, which is just not Liz braids, but I wanted to get like straight long black ones because I feel like it will go with everything. And I won't have to do my hair, style it, or basically do anything to it for the week and then my nail appointment is booked for Sunday night because that's the only time that my nail tech was available so yeah but then I also have my wax Sunday morning and yeah tomorrow is pretty much free so I'm trying to use tomorrow to do all of my packing and pretty much make sure that everything is good and then tonight I'm also going to order any last minute things on Amazon so yeah we have a busy weekend but I pretty much spaced everything out so I don't think it's going to be overwhelming and then I leave on Tuesday so pretty much everything should be done by then but yeah let's hope that the hair braider doesn't take long there's one person in front of me so after that I should be able to start it's like 10 45 right now Friday so just finished my hair and I love it so much it's literally the perfect length too like it goes basically right up to my waist and yeah I did it straight this time because the last time I did braids I did it curly so I wanted to do something different this time but it was pretty quick it does not hurt at all like it doesn't even feel like I got my hair braided so I'm gonna put the name of the store on the screen or something because I feel like they definitely should get business I mean they already have business I know people have seen them on TikTok and Instagram but they're a very good hair braiding salon so this is the place I think it's on 123rd and Frederick Douglass in Harlem. But yeah, really, really good store. You can also do walk-ins. So I got some french fries and these are bomb. Like they're so crispy and well seasoned. And then I got the beef shawarma sandwich. So it has beef shawarma, it has all of this stuff on it. Tahini, I believe and then ginger ale and then I got this spicy sauce that I don't know what it is but it looked good and I like spicy so but yeah so excited to eat all of this and the service here is so good so I just did my lashes which I think this is the first time I'm doing my lashes in like eight years or something like it's been I think I was a teenager when I got them done but I actually really really like it so I went with something really natural um, I think I got the 11, the size 11 foaming. And I feel like I still look the same, which I didn't want anything that took away from my face. But yeah, it's just gonna be so nice going out bare face though. Hello everyone, it is the next day. So I didn't vlog yesterday because it was late, but I decided to use today, which is Saturday, to pretty much do all of my packing. So this is gonna be pretty much, yeah, like at least 85% of my packing is about to get done right now. So I've been pretty much prepping myself all, all morning. So I just finished laundry. I did 
um, laundry for like my pajamas because anytime I buy new pajamas I definitely have to wash it um, some other stuff that I'm planning to pack and then right now I'm just gathering everything so I'm basically trying to first pack my outfits or organize my outfits before I pack them just to make sure that I have everything like all the shoes all the bags that I need and I don't know if I mentioned this I'm pretty sure I did but I'm only trying to take a carry-on this time which I've never done that before I am an overpacker I always check a bag in but because we're going to so many places and there will be a lot of transfers i'm just so terrified of the airline losing my bag and i've been seeing so many videos tiktoks of people they're all the way in europe and their bag is stuck in america or wherever they're they're coming from and i i just don't have time for that especially because some of the places we're going to we're not even staying that long so if my bag doesn't get to one destination we may end up missing a whole nother flight and it's a whole yeah like we're gonna try to make everything fit in my bag so this is my mom's bag that i'm borrowing but just looking at it i feel like if i pack really well and i just keep everything compact and organized i feel like everything could fit in this because i'm also using this as my personal item or my carry-on because they don't really count that as a check bag so this bag as you can see is very big like it literally goes so deep down so i'm planning to maybe like if my skincare and my makeup doesn't fit in here i'm just gonna pop it in this bag so right now my room there's just a lot going on so in this section i'm just trying to organize some of the things that i'm taking a lot of the cubes that i've used in past or for past trips I'm definitely planning to take because this thing comes in clutch especially when you're taking all your products into the bathroom I just hang it behind the door and all of my skincare um sometimes even like my travel size perfume suit in this it just is such a good travel organizer so I found it on Amazon I'll see if I can link it again and then on the floor of my room this is basically most of the clothes that I'm taking so I just have this box that I had from my start order and yeah I'm pretty much just keeping everything in here and I'm about to fold everything and basically pack them or organize them by outfit so for example this is my um, London outfit so I have an entire slide of outfits literally every day of outfits planned because I just knew if I didn't do that I would end up taking so much junk with me so I'm definitely gonna put on the screen so you could see how I'm organizing these outfits and also if you haven't watched my last video which was my vacation try on haul you should definitely check that out because pretty much most of the things on the screen I tried on in that video so you can have an idea of how it looks So here is pretty much everything that I'm planning to wear on the trip for the most part. I don't really think I'm missing that much. Like I'm really trying to stretch these outfits out. The most I might do is maybe add a shirt or something like that to transform a day outfit to a night outfit instead of taking an entirely new outfit. So that's kind of what I did for the outfit here. Um, so for the daytime, it was the um, like the swimsuit with the long skirt. And then at nighttime, I'm just planning to put this top on to make it like almost like a dress so that way I can carry less and then I just have these sandals here to go with it so that's kind of the idea that I have and then if there's anything that I didn't really wear like let's say I only wore for an hour didn't get dirty took it off and felt like maybe it'll be better for the, for the next day I'm also going to plan to do that I'm planning to pack like my pajamas these are all of the pajamas that I got from Target TJ Maxx which has really affordable pajamas these are also these Nike shorts that I really like but I'm planning to put these in a packing cube um, because I feel like these will be one of those things I can pack from now. I don't really need it anytime soon. And then I'm also going to pack my outfits. And then skincare and makeup might be for like the day before I leave. Just because I'm still using those things most of the time up until the trip. Like even the day of the trip sometimes. So I don't want to pack those too soon. And then I'm in and, in and out of my bag grabbing stuff. So right now I'm just going to pack all of my clothes but i am so glad that i did the whole planning the outfits day by day because this was not stressful at all it usually stresses me out so bad because i end up taking at least an idea of what i'm gonna wear but most of the time i don't even end up wearing those things because i didn't really plan the outfits accordingly so this time i tried every single outfit on made sure i actually like how it looks on me and yeah that is all that i'm packing as you can see i didn't even take a lot of accessories as well i'm kind of keeping like the same things from multiple outfits so the same bag maybe i'll take one more bag just to like 
not literally have the same bag every day but a lot of the shoes that i'm also taking are pretty much the same so these chloe sandals are probably going to be my most worn sandals on the trip but i knew they'll be a good idea to take because they, you can wear them in the daytime or nighttime i feel like they're really cute sandals so yeah let's start packing now so here is the bag from Calpac, and i really like this bag because it actually expands so there's an extra zip that allows you to open it wider which i'm definitely going to probably need the entire space of this bag because i have so many different outfits that i'm trying to squeeze all into one bag so it has a bunch of different compartments which i really like so that way i can really organize everything separately so as you can see it has this band here which i love when suitcases have this because i'm someone who fills my bag to the top so when it has this i'm able to keep everything in without it falling out and then it also has pockets in here which i can probably put my shoes in or any of my products i'll probably try to squeeze in these little zips over here and then it also has a second part to it or another compartment that you can unzip so this is probably where i'm going to keep most of my clothes pretty much all of my clothes i'm trying to even fit in here like just pack them very flat up on top of each other or if that doesn't work i'm just going to roll them on each other and then this side i was hoping will be other little things like um yeah like i said skincare and makeup and then if i have to fit more clothes here that's fine but i'm pretty much trying to squeeze everything into these two sides here i got this packing cue from tj maxx i think it was before i went to miami in december of last year so this set has pulled through for me for multiple trips at this point it's so easy to just stack everything in here so right now what i'm gonna try to do is pretty much put like my underwear and pajamas into here just to have everything in here also swimsuits i think i'll actually put in this this one cube i was able to fit all the pajamas that i'm wearing for the week um, my swimsuit cover-ups my swimsuits my underwear bras like everything was able to fit into this pack so even though it looks like it's taking a lot of space i think it'll be fine because pretty much like a lot of things are in this one cube so i think i'm actually going to put this on the other side where it's going to have this band because i really want to use this side to just pack clothes for clothes i think i'm going to pack them in the order that i'm wearing it backwards so Anything that I'm wearing last or like towards the end of the trip, I'm probably going to put in the bottom. Right now, I don't know if I should do the rolling method or if I should just like make everything really flat, like really take all the air out of things and just stack them on each other. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think rolling, hmm. I'm going to try both methods and then see which one works better. So I think we're just going to put this thawed bag over here because it can go pretty flat under this little packing cube here. And then the biggest thing is fitting the shoes as well. So these are my Jeffrey Campbell boots and they're a little bit bulky. So I feel like that's the one thing that I'm really going to have to try to squeeze in. Okay, so we pretty much fit all of my shoes here, which I'm still debating if I'm going to move things around in here and fit it in the inside pocket. But we're just going to see based on what else I have to pack. But pretty much the only things that are left are my toiletries, uh, skincare, and makeup, which I think those are probably going to go my personal item anyways because I like to have easy access to those when I'm on the flight. So pretty much, I don't really know if there's that much more that's going to go in here. I think if anything, I'm just, maybe I'll squeeze in my, like any toiletries that I know I'm not going to use on the plane, I'm just going to squeeze in here. If it doesn't close, we're just going to have to reorganize everything because I know things can definitely fit in this bag but it's just about how I pack everything so as you can see it's zipping up pretty easily yep there we go okay we did it this literally zips up perfectly and it's also not too heavy so similar to how I listed out all of my outfits just to make sure that I wasn't overpacking I always list out all of my tiny things the things that are so easy to forget like you may think like oh there's no way I'm gonna forget it those things I make an entire list for it so I'm gonna show you I've been doing this for literally all of my trips for years and it never fails me because it just helps me so much because I'm just someone who like I said 
it's really easy for me to forget things so i made a huge year of 2023 packing list and it literally has different categories so like skincare body care there's accessories there's like tech stuff that i have to take essentials like everything that i can possibly need on this trip is listed out so here are the travel size things that i picked up from target the other day so we have these wipes that i always take with me also i found this toner and the only reason why i got it is because it's mini size and i trust this brand verse i used to use a lot of their moisturizers and yeah it was literally six dollars and it's a nice small bottle that i could take on the flight with me or on the trip so i've never used it i'm hoping that i like it but it sounds like something that i would like it says the daily brightening solution and of course we have mouthwash caress body wash which i've used this a lot of times over the past couple of years and it smells so good it's the floral or the white peach and orange blossom we have foaming facial cleanser from CeraVe. Also have a mini of one of my sunscreens, which lately, I don't know why, but this sunscreen has been pilling on my skin, which it never used to do that. But it's also the only travel size version I could find, so we're gonna make it work. Some deodorant, some body lotion, a shower cap. I got this from TJ Maxx. A mini edge control, toothbrush, edge brush. And then for my other skincare, I'm just gonna put them in small little jars, um, like those travel size jars that you can put products in. So for perfumes, I'm not really taking too many. I'm taking only travel size. So I'm taking ones that I know I wear very often and I'm gonna reach for all the time while I'm on the trip. So this one is a Lancome Idol um, perfume and I'm actually just finishing the full size of this. So I'm so glad that I have this extra one because I am obsessed with this perfume, especially in the spring and summertime. And then I'm also taking uh, Princess by Killian, which is literally one of my most complimented scents. Anytime I wear this, I can always smell it on my clothes like, three four days after when i'm about to do laundry and then i also wanted to take a mirror to get ready because you know obviously when you're sharing an airbnb with a lot of people you probably won't have you probably won't get a chance to use the bathroom um for as long as you want so this mirror got sent to me with the wig that i bought a long time ago and it is so smart it's pretty much the size of a credit card and it just goes straight into this little pocket here so this is the perfume that i'm taking in this smaller bottle so i didn't want to take the full size especially because i'm only going for a week and i'm sure i could go with something smaller so i have this travel size bottle so i emptied the rest of this out into the jumbo size of it that i have and then yeah i pretty much just poured this newer one into it so this one is basically smells like the beach so i really wanted to use it in italy because i felt like it would go with the vibes of it oh i forgot i also have this loofah here just because i know this is going to be getting wet i'm probably also going to bring some kind of ziploc bag just so yeah all of my clothes aren't getting wet when i put this in my bag so some other essentials of course is a world adapter or the europe adapter which i was just realizing when i was looking through the stuff that i bought that i bought two by accident i literally have no idea when i bought two of them like what what was wrong with me i don't know but for some reason i bought two so this is something i'm really excited about so it's a polaroid camera and i just love the look of it so i was actually able to borrow it from work so i asked them if i could maybe use it and bring it back um after the trip but i am obsessed with this like literally so pretty and i could just see myself taking so many beautiful pictures on it and then of course i have the films which one of my coworkers told me that the films one time her films got damaged going through you know the security check because the radiation is so strong or something like that and yeah her films just would not work so i'm kind of nervous now like i don't know i'm just gonna stick it like really deep in my bag and hope that my clothes protect it but apparently the radiation is super strong that like, it can penetrate through anything so i don't know if radiation is the right word but like you know what i mean like when it goes through that machine so yeah i'm really hoping these don't get damaged but i'm so excited to take some cute pictures with this so i think i'm gonna stop filming here and come back tomorrow when i start doing other things for the trip just because everything else that i'm packing like my makeup the rest of my skincare like those things are kind of boring and i don't really do them till right before the trip anyway so i'm gonna leave that off until later in the week so i will see you all tomorrow morning when i'm getting ready for this trip we have a lot of prep to do it's also mother's day tomorrow so gotta get ready for that but yeah i will see you all tomorrow good morning everyone hopefully this isn't a weird angle but i'm about to go get my wax right now and i also have a pedicure right after so i just put this really simple outfit on it really isn't anything like a lot of my summer clothes are still packed away so it's kind of hard because right now new york's weather is really in the middle like some days it's cold some days it's like 80 degrees so i really don't know how to dress so we literally have a cardigan on a maxi skirt and an undershirt and then i just have this scarf on so i don't have to slick my edges and then for perfume i literally always forget to wear this like i've had this for months and i probably use it like twice only so i'm trying to bring it out to start using it more especially 
because it's summertime and this is like a very floral perfume. So I just finished getting my wax and honestly hard wax is so good for if you haven't had a wax in a long time because sugaring really really hurts like even though it's better for your skin over time it's like they're literally plucking hairs out one by one whereas hard wax they're pulling out all of it basically at once so if you're a beginner waxer or you want to get into waxing I would definitely recommend doing hard wax first and then going into sugaring because sugaring can be like really painful if it's your first time. their fiction section so I'm seeing a lot more books here so let's see if I find anything else okay so I found this book by a Ghanaian author so of course I have to support it's about like family um, like growing up taking risks and stuff so we're gonna see if it's good through like literally make sure y'all come here she's in Harlem yes. so mm -hmm. literally like she took her time did all of this put every gem on like look at the details yeah like, mm, get into it oh my god this is like 